Hi guys, uh, my name is Brinley. Uh, I'm a sophomore in college and my major is history. And this is my friend. Boomer. <laughs> my name is Boomer. I'm a junior in college and I'm a biology major. And you might, might be wondering why we're doing this. Well, as you know, or may not know. You should know. You should know. If you, if you don't, you're living under a rock. Um, <laughs> the Winter Olympics are taking place uh, uh, February 9th through the 25th. Uh, this year, 2018, and so we're both big Olympics nuts. You could say that that's a minimal statement. Well, he's a bigger Olympic nut than I am. I'm really into the Winter Olympics, and he knows things about all everything Olympics. And so we were like, well, why don't we combine combine forces and and yeah. share our talents and also and create a healthy outlet for our obsession. Yes, and because also we look great, right? All right. <laughs> And <laughs> and uh, sometimes the Olympics can be really confusing, so we wanted to make uh, a YouTube channel uh, that maybe could help deconstruct some of the more confusing sports. Uh, and so, if you want to get into the Olympics, it's never too late to do so, right? Never at all. There are plenty of Wikipedia articles to read. So, uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about the origin of the Winter Olympics today. Because I can pronounce the city in which they were held. We've been over this before. Anyway, so the first ever official Winter Olympics, they were deemed the official ones later, were held in Chamonix, France. There's an X in there. The same year as the 1924 Paris Summer Olympics, because they usually, they started to hold them in the same places, usually. Um, in that Olympics, there were uh, about 16 events, and um, but today, we've grown to about 102. And then what we think is very interesting is that, so women were not allowed to compete in the Olympics until the second one, in, the second one period in 1900 in, um, in Paris, right after the first games in Athens in 1896. And at the the, the first particular um, Winter Olympics, there were only about 11 female figure skaters competing. All right, well, Boomer drinks his Sonic Slush. Uh, I'm gonna talk about this year's Olympics a little bit more. Uh, so they're being held in Pyeongchang in South Korea. And as we mentioned before, are taking place February 9th through the 25th, even though some events are on the 8th of February. Which, fun fact, the first time that's ever happened, events happening prior to the opening ceremony happened four years ago in Sochi, Russia, with slope styles uh, snowboarding. Okay, good to know. And See this obsessed. is. <laughs> This is going to be the first time uh, South Korea has ever hosted the Winter Olympics. Uh, there are going to be 13 venues uh, that are going to be used during the Olympics. And according to CNN, the 2018 Olympics will be five times less than what Sochi cost. Uh, there will be 102 medals offered, uh, which according to Olympic.org is more than any other Olympic Games thus far. Mm -hmm. So something that interested me is that the International Olympic Committee wanted to focus on bridging uh, the gender divide or gender gap this year, uh, which is really cool. Um, so comment down below if you'd like us to make a video exploring that a little bit more uh, later. And something else that's important to note is that on December 5th, uh, 2017, uh, the IOC announced that Russia is banned from participating due to an investigation that has to do with doping. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> and athletes that test clean will be able to participate under the Olympic flag, which is behind us. I bought that. Do you have anything Obsessed. to say about Russia not being able to compete? I mean, read more about it, like, look at your sources, but like, it was, what I found most interesting was that it wasn't, typically when things like this happen, it's the athlete they just want to do it on their own. This was government run. So it was the government of Russia that wanted to produce these athletes to show off, like, their athletic props. Because they're, they're good. They always have been. Even when they were, like... Um, in the Soviet Union, and then when they were Russia before that, they've always been good at summer sports, winter sports, but especially the winter sports, because they play such a deep role in their heritage. Yeah, well, something else that I noticed is that a lot of the people who are technically on Russia's Olympic team were not part of that team back in Sochi. And so a lot of them are um, not going to participate under the Olympic flag because they don't feel like it's fair to them. Uh, I... There's a whole debate on this issue. Oh yeah. And I personally love a very, very uh, Russian uh, figure skater. Uh, she's great. All right, so this is how it works. 
There are a few categories of sports that um, are held during the Winter Olympics, and I comprise them into just a handful. So skiing, skating, uh, curling kind of is kind of just like by itself because there's no other sport that's like curling, and then sledding. And so obviously those break down into many more because there's different types of sleds. There's like two or three types of skiing categories. There's even two different types of snowboarding categories if you put that within the skiing. And then um, sledding, you know, there's bobsled, luge, and skeleton. And skeleton actually is considered part of the bobsled. You're looking at me because I'm saying too many words about all of this. No, but I'm just it's all about It's all about being thorough. Watch out, we're, hey. we're filling it up porn. No. No, you we're not. Fix the lighting, dude. No, the lighting actually, I have this. Oh. <laughs> no, you need much better lighting for him. <laughs> oh, we're not really filming him for him. Oh, bullshit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait. And in total, there are 120 events that are competed in during the Olympics. Yeah, and there are more this year than any other, mm -hmm. which I thought was pretty cool. Always growing. <laughs> Even the Summer Olympics, we're always growing. Yes. And so, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you liked this video and you want more videos like this. If you want a video uh, kind of deconstructing a specific sport or an event, uh, comment that down below as well. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Even if you didn't like the video, like and subscribe anyway. Yeah, thanks.